Well, howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here. Just me and the critter. It is March 21st, 2018. It is Wednesday afternoon at 4.52 p.m. It's very nice weather here um, in this part of Florida. Uh, let me go over and pull up the weather for you. Let me get a drink of coffee while we do that. Okay, 62 degrees. We'll feel 60. The high will only, oh wait, it's 64 degrees. It just updated. Real fill is 64. The high will be 66 and the low 41. That's not too bad. Wonderful sunshine, beautiful day out. A little breezy, but don't mind that a bit. Um, yesterday, you guys knew I um, started to not feel very well. I had um, um, like a head cold. And so I, uh, you know, laid down for a while, took some cold meds and laid down again. I hadn't gotten up till late. Um, and I just hate that. I feel like I'm wasting the day. Um, but, uh, and then I did a eucalyptus candle later on that evening, you know, when it got to be near nighttime. And um, I feel fine today. I didn't wake up congested at all. I tell you what, for me anyway, I know not for everybody, the eucalyptus really uh, does so well for opening up my lungs and cleaning out my sinuses, clearing out my sinuses, you know. Well, if you guys may wonder what I'm doing, this is why I keep all my little tiny, tiny, tiny scraps, and underneath here will be like when I make pom-poms, you know, when you're trimming them up. And then I take this outside, and I scatter it, that's why I've cut those pieces so small, you know, um, for the birds. They'll pick them up and make nesting material. I don't like to waste anything. So, um, and then after that, I loomed and I made a hat and um, I made a couple more granny squares. And I also started another hat. So, um, Brad's like, whoa, you'll be able to see people from way off. That's right. This is kind of fluorescent colors, and then look, got the smiley face on it. But yeah, this is a um, uh, small adult teenager one. So I thought that was kind of neat. And um, this one I'm really excited about. There's my hook. It's a hooker. It's not done yet. But this is what is a pattern I'm doing myself. So yeah. And we will see it finished tomorrow. Um, I slept okay. I, I did make myself go to bed at 2. Um, and But I didn't probably go to sleep till about 4. And then I got back up with Brad at 8.30. I'm turning around my sleep pattern because it disturbs me when I think I feel like I'm sleeping the day away. Because I'm just not getting done as much as I want to. You know. Um, and... It's okay to be a night owl to a certain extent in my in my life, um, except for if you're not getting done what you really should get done. And I don't want it to be where for me where I sleep all day and I'm up all night because then I don't get to see my husband much or interact with anybody else very much. <coughs> so today I've been doing laundry. That's the third load going. I got a couple loads. Hanging out on the clothesline, except for, and this line, this this rope said it was for clothesline, but it's very stretchy. So Brad put it on pulleys, and as you can imagine, as you put clothes on it, it just keeps bogging down and down. So we're definitely going to have to do something about that. Um, but it's nice to have some clothes out there anyway. And uh, let's see. Um... I'm not going to complain about it because I finally can do laundry uh, here at home when I couldn't before. So, um, excuse me just a moment. Okay, sorry about that. I'm back. I took water pills finally. And, yeah. But besides uh, doing laundry, I've been doing housework, of course. I dusted and uh, vacuumed the front room. 
back in the kitchen and the tile, excuse me, in the hallway really well. I was going to mop, but then I unwrapped our mop we bought. Don't buy the cheap mops. I feel like a little kid here. It's not going to do it. It's not going to do it. So I just bought mopped, you know, with a rag. And um, uh, we're going to have to get a new mop. Now, we're kind of going to ask you guys about mops. But um, I found that I do have all the pads. I have pads pre-bought for the Swiffer Wet Jet, you know, or something similar to that. Do you guys know if they make kind of a generic or another brand that you can actually refill those bottles with? My complaint is with that Swiffer Wet Jet is they made it now where you can't open that bottle and refill it with your own cleaning solution. You have to keep buying the refill. And that gets expensive. So I'm going to do some research later and see if there's something else. Because I can use these pads on, on, on other things. So you know, on other mop systems. So, um, need to definitely get that next week when we get paid, uh, get a uh, different uh, mop, get a better mop. Because I have um, quite a bit of area in the kitchen and then uh, all down the hallway. I always do the do the um, bathroom floor, like I said, you know, on my hands and knees. And I just always have, I don't know. <coughs> but, um, it's shaping up. You know, we still have a few boxes sitting around that we need to go through, but it's definitely shaping up. Uh, don't look at my hair because I can tell I've been cleaning and stuff. Um, today we're having breakfast burritos. Oh, uh, tonight. Uh, because, uh, something easy. And, Charlie, why are you coming through here like this? He's really been cleaning today. There's a storm, you know, it's, it's storming. Or a storm supposed to come. Hey, Charlie, and he just really, Charlie, well, he's just really, he's just really on top of me. So, um, yeah, but yeah, so I'll make breakfast burritos. Um, but I thought he had some help hired, and then the guy hasn't shown up, and Brad's actually very concerned because um, it isn't like this guy. So Brad's worried that maybe something, you know, is, is not... That maybe he's Brad's worried he's maybe laying in his his uh, home dead or something. So um, he was thinking about calling, and doing a welfare check. He went over there and knocked and everything, and he said the vehicle was there, TV was playing, but nothing. So I hope he's okay. Um, but that's about it. I've been pushing myself um, to keep active. I haven't felt that hot, and you know we all know why with the, with the infection and stuff. Um, not being on a diabetic meds, not having any thyroid medication, you don't feel that perky. But you got to make the best of it. And, you know, I find keeping myself busy and keeping my home looking good and stuff is um, is the best. You know, so, yeah, like I said, I was, I was there wiping down all the cupboards and, you know, the outside of the cabinets and stuff uh, a little bit ago. You know, like, make, keep it nice. I'm just so happy to be in a home, right, Charlie? Right? Right? You know, um, that's one thing I think is important is to um, gear the amount of stuff you have in your home to the amount of space you have. I mean, sometimes you can't help it. Like, all my craft stuff in the um, uh, RV. Well... You know, sometimes you can't help it, you know, but we didn't buy any knickknacks or anything. And it's like with my horror props and stuff, I don't actually buy any new ones. I might buy one new horror prop uh, a year, maybe. Actually, it was three years between buying any. And, and I set a very small budget, maybe $20. Um, but it's like with the craft stuff, you got to, you know, not get too much because, first of all, you can only use so much. My philosophy is I can only use so much craft stuff. Why should I keep a bunch of craft stuff that maybe someday I might use? Now, I used to be that way where I would keep, you know, boxes and boxes of stuff. But I think as you get older, you think <clears throat> it really would be a pity to have 
let's say the crusted stuff sit there and have me not use it when there's other people that 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 would love it like i'm going to send a box of of uh, of stuff to linda when we get paid um of cross stitch patterns and some thread and that kind of stuff because i kept a few patterns and stuff that i'll probably use them for other things um and of course i kept like the ribbon embroidery and i kept some of the the floss because that goes with the ribbon embroidery you know you're making vines and stem and stems and leaves and stuff um but you know there's no sense keeping a bunch of stuff when you're not going to use it you know and you know and like she said the cutest thing ever well we're friends for life so if you ever decide you want to do some i'll just send some your way and it's like, that's true so anyway, that's all that's really going on. I know this is a short one, but you guys would probably be relieved about that. Remember that I love you guys, and I do cherish your friendship so much. And I think you guys are awesome. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.